The final portion of the workout is gonna consist of three rounds, 30 seconds each, of a staggered stance banded RDL, followed by an opposite knee press on the floor. So for the staggered stance RDL, you're gonna take the band, put it underneath your foot like we did for the banded rows, and then this is gonna be more of a hinge-like movement. So if you imagine there's a flashlight attached to your butt, it's shining the wall behind you as opposed to the floor below you. So this is my forward leg and my working leg. Back leg is just your kickstand leg. I'm gonna think inhale to reach for the floor as I rotate in my torso. So feeling a big stretch here in that hamstring and the glute. And again, hips are to the wall behind me. And then I'm thinking keeping weight in that big toe side. Sometimes there's a tendency to roll to the outside of that foot. So at the bottom of this movement, I'm inhaling to reach and then exhale to come forward, keeping weight in that front leg. So sometimes there's a tendency to lean into that back foot. So keep weight in the front leg. This back foot is just here to give a little bit of balance. So inhale to reach down. Think keeping that knee stacked over the ankle, weight in that big toe side. Exhale to come on up. The second movement is gonna be the opposite knee press. So you're gonna come onto your back. You can either keep the hips down or you can elevate the hips in a bridge position. And then from here, I'm gonna reach across to press into the opposite knee, come down, and then you can switch sides. As you do this, we're really focusing on keeping the hip position. So as I do this, I don't want my hips to be dropping. So starting with the staggered stance banded RDL, placing that band underneath the foot, holding on with the hand, forward leg is the work leg, inhale, to reach down, feel that big stretch in that hamstring and glute. Exhale, keep weight in the front foot as you extend in the hip. Inhale to reach, exhale to extend. So you should be feeling that big stretch in that hamstring and glute at the bottom of the movement and then a shortening in it as you stand up. The arm is staying straight the whole time and I'm still thinking engaging in the shoulder so I'm not allowing the shoulder to fall forward. Inhale down, exhale, come on up and then let's switch sides. So you're gonna take that band, put it on the other foot now. So now this is my working foot, reaching for the floor to find that bottom position. Again, think hips to the wall behind me, belly towards thigh, and then I'm gonna exhale to come on up as I shift weight into this leg or keep it in this leg. Inhale to reach down. Exhale, come on up. Inhale to reach down and same thing. I'm keeping this arm straight, but I'm not letting the shoulder roll forward. I'm still engaging in that lat and that shoulder to keep everything with a lot of tension in the upper body. And that's gonna prevent any sort of like low back pain. And then coming onto the floor for the opposite knee press, you can either keep the hips down on the floor or you can elevate the hips, which is gonna make it a little bit harder. So coming onto your backs, you're going to exhale to reach across, really press into that knee, and then inhale, bring it down, and then switching sides. As you exhale and press, you want to ensure that the belly doesn't bulge outwards, so you may need to exhale and then press. So it'll be And then again, if you want to lift the hips up as you do this, feel free. It's going to make it a little bit more challenging for you. So moving back to the staggered stance with banded RDL, placing that foot underneath the band, finding the bottom position, reaching to the floor, exhale to come on up. Inhale to reach to the floor, exhale, come on up, keeping weight in that front foot. So again, there's a tendency to shift into that back foot, but we're really focusing on keeping it here. So reach to the floor, Exhale to face forward, keeping engagement in that shoulder and that lat, so not allowing that shoulder to roll forward. And then switching sides. So taking that band, placing it on the other foot now. Same thing, we wanna think reach to the floor and then exhale to come on up. So I'm thinking hips to the wall behind me, reaching to the floor, exhale, come on up, inhale, back down, belly to thigh, big stretch in the glute and hamstring, keeping engagement in that shoulder, reaching down. Really thinking big toe side is pressing into the floor, we're not rolling to the outside of the foot. As we go, inhale down, exhale, come on up. And 
and then coming onto our back for the opposite knee press. Either hips down on the floor or elevated, it is your preference. Hips elevated will be a little bit more challenging. You can also just press into the same side, which will make it a little bit easier, or you can alternate sides, which will be more challenging. So maybe you elevate the hips, exhale, then press. Keeping the hips level the whole time so we're not dropping in the hip as we press across. You can also keep the opposite arm on the floor to give a little bit more balance, or you can reach up to the ceiling or bring it off the floor to make the balance a little bit more challenging. And then moving on to the final movement, or the final round, it's gonna be that staggered stance, banded RDL, placing that band underneath the foot, reaching for the floor to find that inner rotation, think belly towards the thigh, and then exhale, come on up, keeping weight in that front foot, inhale back down, really drive that big toe, exhale, come up, keeping that knee stacked, Switching sides, so take that band, place it underneath the opposite foot, choking up on the band, and then again, weights in this front leg, think reach towards that floor, keeping weight in that big toe side, knee is stacked over the ankle, and then exhale to extend the hip as you come on up. Inhale, hips to the wall behind you, exhale, coming up, and again, keep that engagement in that shoulder and lat, we're not just releasing at the bottom. Coming into the final movement, that opposite knee press. So either hips down on the floor or hips elevated, it is your preference. Hips elevated will be a little bit more challenging because we have to stabilize. And then how you do the arms can help too. Arms up will be a little bit harder, arms down on the floor will be easier. really driving that knee up and pressing hard in both directions. So we're trying to keep it like above the belly button with a really hard knee drive and press. And that concludes today's full body workout. I hope it helps you move your body with pretty limited equipment and I hope you have a great holiday season.